Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. This simple verse from Paul's letter to the Philippians may be the most important instruction we receive in the entirety of Scripture. It gives us the opportunity to use our creative imagination as we read the sacred stories of Jesus' birth, life, death, and resurrection, year after year, Sunday after Sunday. What was in his mind as he healed the sick? What was in his mind as he revealed divine secrets to a non-Jewish Samaritan woman near Jacob's well? What was in his mind as he stayed utterly silent, being interrogated by Pontius Pilate? What was in his mind as he prayed forgiveness for his executioners as they nailed him to the cross? What was in his mind as he waited for Mary Magdalene to be alone in the garden before revealing his risen self to her and telling her to go and tell all of his apostles of his rising from the dead? What was in the mind of Christ Jesus? This is not something we can answer just once. We're called to imaginatively answer this question over and over again throughout our entire lives as we read these beautiful and sacred stories. And as we do, let us remember St. Paul's admonition to us. Let the same mind be in us that was in Christ Jesus.